Hi guys, welcome to Option Skills. My name's Phil, I'm the Enrolment Manager. Uh, today we're at the head office in Birmingham, Jubilee Centre, where we cover courses like NVQ Level 3 Electrical Installations, uh, Plumbing and Gas Engineering, uh, and recently our Renewable Air Sourced Heat Pumps. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking through both floors of our electrical department. Um, we're going to be covering both domestic, industrial, commercial electrics, and I want to give you a good show around about the facilities. If you'd like to follow me, we'll go down there now. Hi guys, we're down in the electrical department on floor two today. Uh, this is where all of our new trainees start their journey. Uh, as a part of the six week program, students will spend three weeks in here learning about principles of circuits, learning how to terminate cables, uh, carrying out design and installation in the training bays. We will also cover some basic electrical testing, safe isolation, helping students develop the confidence using new tools that they've never used before, before we transfer them up to floor three, where we'll cover further training based around three phase commercial and industrial. Okay, as a part of our six week NVQ course, practical training starts on day one. Uh, on that first Monday when students come into the actual classroom, we'll be teaching about principles of how circuits work, different types of circuits you've got in domestic properties, uh, installation of equipment that's found around normal household dwellings. We we'll start the students on this board here, working across with ring main circuits, radial circuits, uh, lighting circuits and intermediate switches with a small fuse board. And as the week progresses, we move across to the consumer units that's found in all domestic properties. So students will learn about their RCDs, their RCBOs, how to wire them in, and also how to do some basic electrical testing. The second week in the bay is what's called a design and installation week. Okay, This is where students will design their install on the Monday morning, and the rest of that week, what they're gonna be doing is getting comfortable with actually carrying out the installations in the full bay. This will include all different types of circuits like shower circuits, cooker circuits, outdoor lighting, smoke detectors, everything that you could possibly think of in a household property. Once students have carried out their full installation on week two, after a bit of training around carrying out electrical testing, students will go back into the base and test to make sure that their, uh, their installations are sound. Hi guys, we're in the electrical testing inspection studio on floor two. Uh, in here we teach our new entrance students how to do uh, safe isolation and basic electrical testing procedures using these rigs on the wall here. Students will learn the principles of dead testing, live testing, continuity testing, ring main testing, polarity testing, a wide selection of different testing procedures to give them the skills and the confidence to apply it into the workplace as a part of their NVQ portfolio. Uh, we work with both single phase and three phase boards in here and once students have got enough experience working underneath a company carrying out testing as a part of their portfolio they'll need to come back to the centre itself uh, and undertake formative assessments around diagnostics, fault finding and commissioning. What we're going to do now we're going to go up to floor three and have a look at our other studio which covers weeks four to six. Hi guys, we're up on floor three, we're in unit 302 and this is where our electrical trainees will complete the second half of their course. Uh, between weeks four and six, students will be working on the benches, utilising all the tools. The main focus around the training up here is to complete certain knowledge units towards your NVQ and also to build your uh, confidence up around working with different types of cables and containment found on commercial and industrial properties. Um, the benches in this studio are used to uh, measure up, cut down, uh, join and install different types of containment like steel trunking, uh, conduit, cable tray, ladder rack work itself. Um, you'll be working with different types of commercial cabling as well when you go into the bays to install it. Um, on week six is quite an important week for yourselves. We'll be covering training and your 18th edition wiring regulations combined with your ECS card which you'll receive on week three. We'll give you the qualifications and also access card to work with companies towards your NVQ Level 3 portfolio. Okay guys, thanks for watching the video today. 
That's completed the first stage of our NVQ Level 3 training program. Uh, once you've done your six weeks in centre and gained your qualifications in your units, you're then in a position where you can go out into the industry and start working as a paid trainee in order to complete your NVQ portfolio. If you need any assistance with employment, we've got our own in-house team, uh, in-house recruitment team. Um, last year they helped over 230 people find paid employment. Um, starting salary as a trainee is between 10 to 12 pounds an hour, which does go up with experience. Uh, we try to support as many students into full-time work so they can complete their various different assessments on site over the next year and a half to two and a half years to become NVQ qualified JIB electricians. If you need further details on our courses or if you want to speak to somebody, contact details are below, including the web address. Please get in touch. Hopefully we'll speak to you soon. Thank you.